Mega Serpent Hunter. Did you know that you can turn your Serpent Hunter into an overpowered Rykard destroying super weapon? First, you'll need a second Great Spear type weapon before encountering Rykard. In this example, we use the Great Lance, found in Limgrave located here. Make sure to equip the Serpent Hunter in your left hand slot while equipping the second weapon in your main hand. Approach Rykard while crouched. While you are crouched, press the attack button to do a crouched power stance attack. Upon inputting the attack, return to the crouch position and repeat the inputs. You'll notice that you are able to attack Rykard with incredible speed and damage. It's noted that in this example, the lance has not been upgraded at all from base level. The Serpent Hunter, however, is a plus nine. Mimic Tier Skip. The Mimic Tier is a boss in Elden Ring that forces the player to face an NPC version of themselves. A nice throwback to the Dark Link boss fight from Ocarina of Time. Whatever gear the player is wearing and has equipped when entering the boss fight, the Mimic Tier will replicate the character perfectly once it spawns in. But what if I told you there was a way to make it so the Mimic doesn't even get a chance to mimic the player? Before reaching the point in the arena where the Mimic spawns, the player will want to deal ranged damage, such as these fire pots, to the blob on the floor. If the player is able to deal enough ranged damage with a single instance of damage, it will kill the blob before the boss fight even begins, prompting the Great Enemy Feld message to appear. New Game Plus removes slowdown. Upon defeating Elden Beast and completing Elden Ring's main story, the game will ask the player if they are ready to proceed to New Game Plus, which is a brand new playthrough of the game while on the same character the player just completed the game with. While playing through your new journey in Elden Ring in New Game Plus, try running through some lava. You'll notice that your player doesn't receive a slowdown penalty like you do in normal New Game. This is also the case in heavy swamp areas, such as the Swamp and Shaded Castle. Low Damage from Rot The Lake of Rot has earned the reputation of one of Elden Ring's most grueling areas. It forces the player to cross an expansive lake that deals rot to the player while they cross it. The rot can be devastating, often forcing the player to exhaust all of their Estus flasks. But did you know there is a way to lower the damage caused from the rot? If the player enters the rot and does a roll in the lake, then quickly exits before the rot status fully builds up on the character, the game will give the player a residual amount of rot buildup over time. Using this small buildup from rolling in the lake, let the rot fully build up until the bar is full. The player will now have the rot status effect applied to them, but you will notice that the damage being dealt to your player is significantly less if you let the rot build up while standing in the lake normally. Damage affected by weather and terrain. While facing the many different enemies and bosses scattered throughout the lands between, pay attention to the location where combat takes place. If the player stands in a body of water, or if it is currently raining in-game, the player will deal different damage numbers when using fire and lightning attacks. There will be a 10% damage debuff to fire attacks while it is raining or standing in water, while lightning attacks receive a 10% damage buff. Something to take note of when engaging in enemies. I hope this video showed you something new in Elden Ring. And if you did learn something new, give the video a like and comment. Tell me what it was that you liked the most. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Have a good day.